All right, let's talk about removing a rear seal. So this is a CAT 3304, quite common multi-piece seal, as in it's got a outer seal and then it rides on a wear band. So you buy them in a kit. Now, to remove this seal, this one's been done. I just sort of put it back in for this uh, trial purpose. But, but to remove this seal, what's a common way or an easy way to start this process is to actually use a center punch and a hammer and put some dents in the tin ring of the seal itself so we have some pilot to drill some holes. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my center punch, line it up in the center of the steel ring, give it a tap. Do the same thing, 180 degrees or on the other side of the seal, give it a tap. At that point, we take a, a drill bit in our cordless drill and we're very careful not to do any damage here. You may want to put a taped guide on the drill bit itself. Line up to where that center punch hole is and we just want to drill a small hole through the tin. There we go. So once we have the hole through the tin, then what we can do is take our slide hammer and there's lots of variations of these compact slide hammers, but they have these uh, the tip that you can stick a tech screw or a sheet metal screw through. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this adapter end off the slide hammer. We're going to screw the screw into the hole that we made into the tin. And I did this one a little tight to the edge, take some of the shavings off of there. Ran this one a little tight. There we go. Screw the screw into the seal until the adapter sticks out. We can sl mount our slide hammer onto it. And we would normally do this on both sides. And then we can simply use the small slide hammer to work the rear seal out. So now we've taken the rear seal off. In another video, I'll show you how to get the wear sleeve that got left behind off the crankshaft.